Hi, I'm Dr. Polly Watson, founder of Hormone Wellness MD. I could not be more excited to introduce you to Kate Willis. Kate is a nurse practitioner with IFM certification and a deep and broad experience in women's health. So let's meet Kate and learn more about what brought her to functional medicine. And I'm so excited for you to learn about this most valuable member of our team. I'm Kate. It's so nice to meet you. Um, I would say I've been interested in nutrition and um, wellness as long as I can remember. And when I began nursing school over 20 years ago, I really thought these interests would mesh well together. But as I began practicing, I realized they did not <laughs> in every setting. Um, working as a nurse in an inpatient setting was primarily focused on addressing acute medical needs. I remember seeing the trays that patients would receive and thinking, I would never eat that. <laughs> they were filled with foods that were refined and lacked fruits and vegetables. But what I did find on the oncology unit where I worked was a way to care for people in a truly holistic manner. And so that meant addressing physical needs, but also addressing emotional, spiritual, and relational needs as well. And to me, this has been just really excellent training for what I'm doing now with functional medicine, uh, because functional medicine truly is about caring for the whole patient. So my personal journey into functional medicine um, began after the birth of one of my children. Um, I found functional medicine as a patient. Um, my own health really, really struggled. I had insomnia. My gut was incredibly sensitive. I had a lot of fatigue and I found a doctor. And as we worked together, my body really began to heal. I would say the process hasn't been as simple as just starting a new medicine. Um, but the lifestyle changes that I've made and the functional medicine therapies that I've used along the way have continued to pay off in my life and in my health. That's fantastic. I think so many of us have this experience as women in as clinicians, but also as patients as leaving a healthcare encounter and not feeling heard. And a big part of that healing is, is developing a relationship and feeling heard. And that's one thing that I feel like Kate's really excelled at, particularly with working with oncology patients. One of Kate's, uh, previous um, collaborators said she would give her right arm to work with Kate again. And so I think that so many people have seen that you're so warm and approachable, but also just are approaching this with a lot of heart. And I think that's what a lot of us are, are missing from relational healthcare because the, unfortunately the healthcare providers often behind the screen clicking codes and boxes. And so it's just so refreshing to find somebody who's so engaged and passionate as you are. It's such a joy. I, you know, as I discovered functional medicine, personally, I had this realization that this was what I wanted to do with my professional life. Um, that led me down the road to get certified through the Institute for Functional Medicine. And so I was able to bring that experience that I had in oncology, you know, really attending to, you know, the whole, the whole person, um, and then combine it with this huge toolbox that functional medicine brings where we have so many different avenues to pursue the root cause of disease and dysfunction. And to me, that's really a great joy to be able to combine those, those two parts of me, um, to serve patients and to care for patients well. So one of the other things that you have that so you people really embrace is um, an experience in sexual wellness. I think so often, again, a lot of women leave, they finally screw up the courage to talk about libido, or they finally screw up the courage to talk about sexual pain, and they get really crappy advice. You know, sometimes they're told just to have a glass of wine, or, you know, you're really too old to be worrying about this. And, and I don't know about you, but I want to be sexually vital for my whole life. I have a lot longer to live. So can you talk a little bit about your, your experience with sexual wellness and how to promote that with patients? Absolutely. So I worked for a number of years in gynecological oncology, 
And I learned there that a lot of medical providers do shy away from discussing sex and sexual wellness. I was one of the only female providers in the practice. And these conversations often fell to me, I think, because women felt more comfortable bringing their concerns to me um, than to one of the male physicians in our practice. And I found that women had a lot of questions, <laughs> lots of questions. Um, so I really first and foremost thought to be a very safe place to bring these questions, to have a compassionate and listening ear, and then to, to work to provide answers to their questions and then find solutions that would fit each woman's unique, unique, unique situation. Um, I, I think women need a place, a safe place to have these questions, to have these conversations about sexual health. This is not a taboo subject. It's a very important part of who women are. Um, it's, it's, it's the physical part of a woman, but it's also the emotional relational part of who they are too. So it, it impacts so many different spheres of their life. Um, so again, I, because I think this is such a big part of who women are, I want to be a really safe place. And then I want to work with a woman to find what is the best solution? What is going to work for her? What does she need? Um, what fits where she is in life? Um, desiring. Great. And then I know you're a mom. Um, so maybe you want to share a little bit about, you know, that about your life and your family, just so that people have a sense of who you are as, as Kate, separate from nurse practitioner, Kate Willis. Yes. So my husband's name is Nate. So we are Kate and Nate. <laughs> uh, we have three boys who are right now ages nine, seven, and four. And as you can imagine, they keep us very busy. We have kind of a wild household. Um, they are a lot of fun involved in sports. Um, and so we're out on the soccer field and the, the baseball field a lot on the weeks, uh, weekdays and weekends. Um, I've had the privilege to be able to work as a nurse practitioner um, the entire time I've been a mom. And that's been really, truly so rewarding to get to do two things I love so much. I love being a mom, but I also love the break to go work with adults and um, help solve problems and address um, medical issues that people are having. Um, so I just feel, feel really honored that I can do both of those things. Um, my husband really likes to cook. And so we get to eat great food and it's been really fun to see my kids learn to help out in the kitchen and find, you know, new uh, cookbooks at the library and try new things and make a mess. Um, that's been really fun. Uh, we do a lot of sports in the yard um, when we're not uh, at a sporting event. Um, personally, I just, I love, um, being outside. We have a 110 pound dog. And so I enjoy taking her for walks. Um, I enjoy doing yard work, which, um, is kind of a recent thing, but, um, has brought a lot of joy and I love lifting weights, um, for my, for my personal, personal workout time. That's awesome. Great. When I was, interviewing for this position and trying to find people, it's really unusual to find someone who has functional medicine training and often also has women's health experience. And that's so important because I don't want my menopause consultant to be somebody who took a weekend class and that was it. So Kate has a long history of being an expert in women's health. And I would just love it if you could share with us more about that experience. Well, first of all, I, I truly love working with women. So much of my career has been working with women um, in primarily female practices. Um, I, since becoming certified through IFM, I've also been working in a practice that focuses on women's health and hormones. Um, I love working with women because I think women change the world. <laughs> and, you know, when I think about how much women do at home, in the workplace, in society as a whole, um, I just get excited about helping women feel their best. I think when a woman feels balanced and healthy, she can do more of what she wants to do in all of the spheres of her life. That was true for me personally and part of my 
desire to feel better. Um, I also think that women just enjoy life a lot more when we feel balanced and healthy. And so it's, it's a lot of fun to help women on that journey to really be able to show up the way they want to in their spheres of influence, but also just to feel good for themselves. I would say I have a experience treating a variety of health issues that women come in um, to see me with. Um, some of those common concerns are the hormonal changes that come with perimenopause and mini menopause, like fatigue, weight gain, insomnia, um, and digestive issues. I see women with a number of autoimmune conditions with autoimmune thyroid disease being the most common. My own journey in functional medicine involved the diagnosis of SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And so I really enjoy helping women navigate um, a diagnosis of SIBO and enjoy that process of seeing them be healed and make a lot of progress. Um, and finally, I do see a lot of women coming in with concerns about libido and sexual health. Um, you know, my goal for caring for women is to make sure that I'm addressing women's concerns. I think it's important that the, you know, the provider and the patient be on the same page about what the goals of care are. And then we work together to, you know, identify the root cause of what's going on. We can use patient histories, we can use questionnaires, diet histories, and then labs and functional medicine testing to start um, digging into what's going on and how we can best address it. And I think one of the opportunities that's sort of different from both of our allopathic kind of foundational training is functional medicine is looking at how all these things intersect, right? So when I'm listening to you and thinking about gut health and thinking about SIBO, and then understanding how that can wrap back around to gut microbiome influences how estrogen is eliminated from the body. That's just, it's such a great opportunity when you've got a grounding in both holistic medicine and in foundational allopathic women's health, where we can bring this together and really find these connections. Because I think that, um, it can be maybe so much more transformative for people to be able to make these changes when they understand how they're linked. Absolutely. I think there's a tendency in some spheres, I think, to see conventional medicine and functional medicine as in opposition to each other. But as I've pursued this functional medicine road, I think what I've concluded is that what functional medicine does is it just gives me a much bigger toolbox to use with patients. So there's no need to throw good conventional medical wisdom out the window, but we can do so much more to really address more than just symptoms. We can address what's truly going on and driving the dysfunction. And, and I just, I love that you have expertise in both because sometimes I'll meet women that They've been working with another holistic medical provider and they're on every supplement from here to China for estrogen detox, but no one ever did a pelvic ultrasound and she's got a polyp, right? And the polyp just needs to be removed. And so um, I love that you have such a strong grounding in, in both allopathic women's health and in functional medicine. 